Ratataki must remain outside. The Master has not requested her presence. Looks like I'll have to miss this one then. Real shame. You don't have to go, Kalia. Listen. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Now that I'm a loyal Imperial agent, who am I to divide the Dark Council's wishes? Come, stand before me, and revel in the power of the Dark Council. Allow your body to betray you, allow your blood to boil and your heart to slow. Everything that is not of the Dark Side will be purged, or it will be tainted. This is inoculation, Agent. This is a sacred rite. You are privileged. Your parlor tricks don't frighten me, Lord Jadis. Adolescent defiance will not serve you here. When the time comes, you will beg to feel my power again. But that is not why I summoned you. This is your due reward. You proved yourself by outmaneuvering the hearts. Now I choose you to exterminate the dissidents who would destroy our way of life. I sense your uncertainty. You wonder why I involve myself in this affair. Why I take an interest in you and Imperial intelligence. I wouldn't presume to wonder. It's not my place to question you. Many in the Dark Council hold themselves above the mundane business of the Empire. I believe this is a mistake. I believe we must spread the ways of the Sith to the Empire entire. Plant terror and hatred in every heart. I believe in the democratization of fear. But these dissidents threaten all progress. Left unchecked, they would reduce our world to ash and raise nothing in its place. The dissidents will be stopped. Imperial intelligence is already uncovering their plan. Do not underestimate our enemies. They are powerful, and there are those who sympathize with them. People at the highest levels of government. I chose you for this assignment, not only because of your past successes, but because you are new to your organization. Your loyalty is uncompromised. Do you understand? Do you think there are traitors among us? Watch those around you and trust no one. You will see the truth for yourself. I will leave Drummond Car soon aboard the Starship Dominator. I will travel with a thousand dignitaries, diplomats and slaves, and show them the galaxy as I envision it. When I return, I expect the dissidents to have been purged. Kneel before me now, and I will ensure that you have the means to succeed. With respect, Lord Jadis. I will not bow to you. You do not wish to refuse me, Agent. Consider your defiance in the face of the Dark Council. I won't be your puppet. Do what you will. Then consider this a small example of my power. When you awaken, remember it as the price of arrogance. I'm here. What's the situation? This is Watcher 2. We're still working on full analysis of the slaves' files, but we have a new lead. Proceed to the Nexus Room Cantina in Car City. I'll brief you once you're in place. You've been here longer than I have. What does it mean when Darth Jadis calls you in? I wouldn't know. It's never happened before. Catch your breath, then get to the Cantina. Watcher 2 out. This is Watcher 2. Signal established. I've tapped into the Cantina Holocams, Agent. I can see you from six different angles. We're ready to go. I can do my job without being watched. Being watched is part of your job. Be grateful we make you aware of it. So, Theodor Mindak is a genius inventor and entrepreneur working with the Radicals. Unfortunately, Theodor is being sheltered by the Sith Lord Grathen. Grathen turns a blind eye to Theodor's affiliations in exchange for weapon designs. First Darth Jadis, now Lord Grathen. I'm starting to dislike Sith politics. Watch yourself. Statements like that reflect badly on an intelligence agent, and all of this is on record. Dealing with Gratham directly isn't an option. He's involved in a power struggle with the other Dark Lords. In essence, he's gone rogue. However, Theodore's daughter, Samara, frequents this cantina. She has access to Theodore's workshop in Gratham's estate. If her father's with the dissident cell, she's probably in league with them too. Not so far as we're aware, and we've tracked her activities for a while. 
Samara Mimdak is rich, young, and willing to flaunt her advantages. She's popular with the caste city elite, but hardly beloved. No meaningful connections or reputation. Our profile suggests she'll cooperate if given incentives. I've located her in a private lounge. It's up to you how to handle her. If she resists, how far am I allowed to go? No restrictions. Do what you have to. Once Samara's told you how to reach her father's workshop, head to Lord Grathen's estate. Send us anything you find on Theovor's computers. I'm sure Samara and I will be fast friends. Undoubtedly. Go. I'll be watching. What good are Mandalorians if they can't escort a few trade shipments? It's not like we need them for the war. Stop obsessing about the mercenaries, Obanth. You wish you could carry a Vira blade. You get vicious after a while, don't you? Sure. I'm gonna go talk to someone else now. She's a brat, but she's got spirit. Wanna break it? And look at you. Enjoying yourself? It's not the worst party I've ever been to. But it needs improvement, you know? I know what you mean. But things are looking up now. Yeah, I guess. A military girl's allowed to have a good time. You're a military, right? You've got that in charge kind of look. And the weapons. I'll ask the questions. You're going to answer. Hey, hey, all right. You want to be that way? I can take it. Samara, be careful. You need to take this seriously. Shut up, Obanth. I said I'm done with you. So, tell me, how can I serve the Empire? There are anti-government radicals operating on Drom and Kaz. Tell me about them. I don't know what you're talking about. My dad's the one who always complained about the government. Anyway, if you want to talk to Theovor, not sure what I can do. He isn't seeing a lot of visitors. I tried to ask nicely, but I'm running out of patience. <laughs> what the? What did you? What? I was wondering when you were going to get around to that. That's enough, please. Look around you, Samara. No one here will stop me from hurting you. I can keep going until you break. No, please. Look, Dad's workshop is in Lord Grathen's estate. I've got codes to get in. You can get a keycard from the guards. That's everything I know. Just stop. Letting you go is too much of a risk. I can't have you warning your father. What? Wait! Oh! Please! Whatever she was involved in, no one here knows anything! She was a traitor to the Empire. She deserved her fate. Okay. Okay, I understand. I'm, I'm going to go. You... You thought you could take me by surprise. But you can't. What do you want to bet this ends badly? Those were my daughter's access codes you used. Whatever you've done to her, I'll have my revenge. I understand you're helping the dissident cell plan an attack. I'm helping to free the people of the Empire from thugs like you. You people took away my wife, stole her from my house one night, and never told me what happened. My only daughter grew up to be worthless, and now you've taken her from me too. I despise your kind. And you're a crazy old terrorist. I'm a father and a patriot, and you're dead. Two. I'm downloading the contents of Theovor's computers. Looks like blueprints, work he's done for Lord Grathen, and... Ah! Encrypted files. I should be able to decipher them if I cross-reference with the slave's datapad. Hmm. Don't like what I'm seeing. There's a timetable, activity convergences, indications of something big. Get back to base as soon as you can. Can I ever catch a break? Not in this business. Haven't you learned that by now? I'll see you soon, Agent. Watcher 2 out. Watcher 3, I need that link up to the Dominator. If Lord Jadis wishes to observe, we must accommodate him. Establishing Hololink, sir. Data flow is synchronized. 
Glad you found the time to pay us a visit, Agent. Take your place. The briefing starts now. It'd be helpful if someone told me about these things. Sorry, Agent. It's been hectic. Lord Jadis, are you receiving our transmission? I am. Proceed, Keeper. Very well. You all know we've been attempting to determine the Dissident's plan of attack. Thanks to recent operations, we have the information we need. Unfortunately, the news is worse than we expected. A major strike is imminent. The Dissidents are targeting the ancient power conduits that run beneath the capital. Their intention is to overload the power grid, causing a cascade failure that would detonate the power relay stations. The resulting explosions would kill hundreds of people, and the blackout would leave us vulnerable to further attacks. Sir, aren't all access points to the power grid under military control? All but one. The terrorists intend to access the power conduits through the Dark Temple. The Dark Temple? That doesn't sound promising. I'll sum up for those of you unfamiliar with the history. The Dark Temple predates Drummond colonization. It was sealed by the Sith during the city's construction. When the Dark Council opened it some months back, they found it inhabited by force-driven phenomena. Workers on site began disappearing inside, controlled by unknown entities. But whereas we saw the Dark Temple as a threat to be contained, the Dissidents saw it as an opportunity. The Temple rests directly above a key power junction. If the Dissidents can push past the, um, phenomena, they can access the grid. These Dissidents have been planning. They have supplies, maps, and weapons, and they're not counting on making it out alive. This is a suicide run. At least we'll be rid of them, one way or another. We have security footage of dissidents heading toward the Dark Temple. A full squad of operatives will pursue the... No. My lord? There will be no squad. The Dark Temple is sacred ground, and will not be unduly disturbed. My agent will go alone. I'm honored by your choice, my lord. Not now, agent. My lord, I strongly urge you to reconsider. If the dissidents succeed, we... The spirits of the temple must not be disturbed. Not by terrorists, and not by Imperial intelligence. One agent will suffice. My role here is finished. Do as I will, Keeper. Very well. Then the decision is made. You will go to the Dark Temple, stop the Radicals from reaching the conduits and detonating their charges. There's no mission like a suicide mission. If you don't make it back, appropriate arrangements will be made. We'll monitor you as long as we can. But the temple blocks most transmissions, so just, um, good luck, Agent. I'm going to need more than luck. It's all I can offer, I'm afraid. Go on, Agent. The Dark Temple is waiting. You! Are you with the military? I heard the shots, but I wasn't sure. I can't believe you actually followed us in here. None of us are gonna make it back out, you know that, right? Question me, you piece of filth. <laughs> you think you've done some great thing by tracking me down? You can shoot me now. You can save the power grid, preserve the Imperial lifestyle for a little longer. But there are other cells. They'll keep fighting. Time's up. You're dead. You'll never make it out of here, Imperial. <laughs>